Hey, it's Rudy. Uh, welcome back to the channel. So, as you can see, I'm like in my usual spot, and the camera's kind of shaky, so I'm on shaky cam using my phone. I am going to do a little collection tour. I met up with a friend I hadn't seen for a while, and I told him that I was um, making YouTube videos, um, primarily about my uh, toy collection and Transformers. And he suggested that I do a little tour video um, which kind of coincided with a couple of videos that I'd watched about a week ago. So I saw that Zort Rider had done a collection video and previous to that I'd watched uh, Patriot Prime reviews um, about something about six months ago he'd done one and it just inspired me to to get mine done and uh, with my friend suggesting it I was just like yeah absolutely go for it. Um, I am going to do it in two parts though so kind of like a before and after. So this one's the before part um, and I'm doing that because I am currently in the process of dusting and cleaning and kind of moving kind of stuff around and trying to bring a freshness to it. Um, so it's kind of just all over the place at the moment and some bits are incredibly dusty. So sit back, watch, enjoy. Um, I'll do little tidbits um, as I go through, just chatting about uh, what's, what stuff it is, perhaps where it came from, or what uh, made me get it, or who got it for me. So yeah, starting off with, this is currently, this is downstairs. So uh, this is the the unit that my wife and I kind of share, so that the, her little collectibles are in there along with all our kind of books and bits and pieces. So starting off, we have the Rocky Ravine, uh, which is a Lego town set from... Oh, that's in like late 80s. Um, I'm a bit particular when it comes to collecting Lego. I really like my uh, Lego Town sets. Um, I like my Classic Space. Um, I love my Paradisa. Um, anything that's kind of a bit rare um, or sets that I wanted as a kid that I've tried to get, get my hands on. Um, it's a great set. I got it for Christmas a couple of years ago. Um, so yeah, it's a it's a wonderful set. So moving along, what else we got in here? Uh, we've got masterpiece hot rods. Um, I feel like I kind of jumped to the gun a bit with that with that release, not knowing that there would be a, a second release with some darker colours. And I like the look of the darker colour one as well. But great little figure. Uh, anything else up here? Uh, so the, these are my wives. We've got the uh, Enid Coleslaw doll uh, from Ghost World. Um, and we've got a little reflection, a uh, little set of jaws, which uh, comes with a little canister inside, uh, which fits in his mouth. Um, still in its plastic prison though, uh, we haven't got that one, got that one out yet. Uh, we've got the poolside par uh, paradise, uh, the Paradisa set. Um, always wanted this as a kid and I saw it randomly in a, a toy shop that sadly no longer exists. It closed down about um, four or five months ago. Uh, there it was, just all in a bag. The colours caught my eye and I, I just, I didn't care. I literally just went, picked it up, took the carriage and bought it. And that was a little present um, to my wife or her. Uh, anything else in here of my collection? Uh, we have got a... Go Lion Voltron camera, which uh, transforms into the Voltron robot and back to the Star Shooter uh, camera. It's a fully working camera as well. Not that I've used it or been able to get film for it, um, but it's, it's a super cool little collectible. Yeah, really cool. Uh, talking of Lego and Voltron, the Lego Ideas is a set that I would love to get now. Um, I only have a few of the the new Lego sets. As I said, I'm not quite particular. I have the old fishing store, and I'd love to get the the Go Lion Voltron one. And then I think there's a Lego a Ninja Go or Ninjago uh, Gamadon, or Gamadon, which is like a, a walking shark robot. Uh, who doesn't love a shark with legs? Uh, being a Transformers fan, you know you're going to love your overbites and your gnaw. So yeah, that's. That's something that's on the the mental wish list. Yeah, so that's a bit of downstairs. A bit of downstairs for you. Uh, so bear with me as we 
carry on upstairs. Yeah, so yeah, the, the Lego ideas Voltron is super, super interesting because it kind of blends the two. I'd love to get uh, the Go Lion Voltron set anyway. Um, and then the Lego build's gonna make it even more fun. So into the spare room, this is where the majority of the collection lives. Um, and as you can see, I'm mid dusting and uh, there's a, my little birthday haul from the other day. Um, I built the uh, Paradisa set uh, just the other day. Great little set to add to, add to the collection. Cute little present from my mum. Yeah, so here we go. There's a couple of bits on the floor. Uh, one new shelf. Hopefully you should be putting that up soon. Yeah, so what we've we got here, we have got uh, Masterpiece Soundwave. Um, so he's being broken out of the box as we speak. Um, out of its plastic prison, as I like to call it. Um, I, I can't wait to get him out of the box. Um, I've kept him in the box for like two years and I just, I haven't been able to commit to it. Um, but yeah, when, once the shelf's up, I'd like to give myself another little masterpiece uh, shelf, maybe masterpiece Decepticons. Um, as you'll see, we'll get to it. I've got a masterpiece shelf of Autobots. Um, so moving on, we have got some Technic Lego. Um, always wanted this set as a kid, uh, and it's super cool. Um, I got it last year. Uh, my friend, Maxwell, uh, he had a Lego stag party, which sounds as cool um, as it is. So in the evening, we all had to come along with a box of Lego um, and spend the evening building it and chatting it, having a couple of drinks. Um, and I chose this. I'd not had Technic Lego for for years and years, not since I was about, I'd say 11 or 12. Um, and I always used to flip through like the K's catalog and the Freeman's catalog and just look at the sets and just think, yeah, that's that's super cool. Um, it's, it's, all, it's got pneumatics and air pressure and it's it was a really cool set to build. Practically spent the whole evening building it um, and we didn't do much else. Um, so yeah, that's, that's it. I can highly, if anybody's, getting into collecting or is interested in Lego, that's a, a beautiful set to, to own. So moving on, we have Bluebird's Manta Force, which is a toy from my childhood. Um, I feel like it's 1985 or 86, um, a really unexpected Christmas present. I am, um, and here it was, I opened it up this giant box and I had no clue what it was. But this is a phenomenal toy to, to own um, all these vehicles and little figures inside. Um, incredible play value and really strong, durable plastic. Bluebird didn't make many toys in the 80s. I feel like they made the big yellow teapot um, and this, and there was like enemy ships as well, big red, big red ship. But this is, it's really cool. It's got like three fa like factions inside. So you've got your like underwater submersibles, you've got your Airstrike Command and your ground assault vehicles. Um, they are just wonderful sets to, to have. They've got firing mechanisms and all the little figures fit in into the seats. It's something that I enjoy in, um, in terms of toys is, is when the figures fit in the vehicles. It's something that G.I. Joe and Action Force and Mask and even sort of Microman, the precursor to to Transformers, you know, you had little figures that can can fit inside. So, yeah, moving along. Uh, there's other bits and pieces on the floor. We've got the Playmobil Acto 1, incredible figure. We've got some Shadows of the Empire figures. Uh, we've got Dash Rendar's ship, the Outrider. Really cool toy. It's, you can stand it two different ways. Um, the mechanisms fit bit dash in the cockpit, uh, really cool. Uh, we've got some Micro Machines, Star Wars sets. Uh, yeah, we got, I once again, never had Star Wars themed Micro Machines as a kid. I just always, always fascinated by just the, the towns and the city sets, but it's, it's really cool. My uh, mum got me uh, this for Christmas, uh, maybe like three years ago. Once again, unexpected. Uh, gift there, it's, it's really good, it pops open and just incredible 
display piece and play value. So moving up to to my shelves. So I've got two got two shelves. As you can see, I've got a G1 shelf with a mixture of uh, e-hobby bits and pieces on there. Um, Thirty year collectors. Uh, we've got my custom sound wave. Um, but yeah, let's, let's delve right in. So we've got the must be um, Autobots. Two of these are KOs though. Um, so we've got Ratchet and Ironhide, which are the KOs, um, which you could not get two QC differing um, KOs ever. One is incredibly loose and the other is so tight that some parts barely transform and I feel like I'm going to break them. So they've neither of them have been um, transformed more than once because I just I, I can't I can't suddenly transform them. So once again with KOs, you you win some, you lose some. Um, as I've mentioned in other videos, when it comes to KOs, I I prefer the, the wacky G1 crazy coloured ones. Um, so up here we have some G1 goodness. We've got the 30 year anniversary predicting set, which I can highly recommend. Once you get that stickered up, it is a phenomenal beast. Um, I know Power of the Primes predicting is a is out now and I think that'll be uh, very much on people's wish lists at the moment but um, if you're not committing to that one I can just really think this is a set that if you're a collector, a G1 collector is to dive right in it just it's heavy, it's they're chunky, it's it's a, a great set we've got six shots um, some lovely kind of chromed pieces on that um, also got that at a, a bargain price because the box was damaged um, and I know that some of my toys are going to come out of the boxes um, so pleased to get that um, who doesn't love a six or seven because he has a secret other mode um, transformer we have got an e-hobby black Megatron um, I always wanted to get this figure when I saw that um, e-hobby had done it because it looks like the uh, commercial for Transformers when it first came out with Megatron with a slightly different um, colour version. Uh, we've got G1 Galvatron uh, in his purple, more screen accurate colours with an extra little um, accessory of the Matrix. That's a great figure. Um, not very playable. I, I, if you've ever watched my videos, it's, it's one of the worst in my collection. Um, but that's in terms of play value. On the shelf, it looks fantastic. The great seeker mold, the G1 seeker mold, one of the best molds ever in the in the line, um, and this is a, an e-hobby uh, variant of uh, Sunstorm, uh, one of the Tetra jets um, in the in the opening uh, five episodes of the season one. Or was it three episodes? Arrival from Cybertron. I remember having on VHS. Uh, here we are on to my favourite combiner of all time, um, the Seacons, Piranicon, God Neptune, King Poseidon, whichever you may wish to call him. What I am going to do uh, when I get to my next shelf, or as I rearrange, I'm going to put him back into his separate entities. Um, he's starting to get a bit of a lean on him, um, and I want to get him back to his sea monster alt modes, because I think they look really cool as a little team together. And then we have my Five Faces of Darkness uh, G1 knockoff Sound Blaster repainted um, to look like his screen accurate episode um, version where he's running low on Energon and is they've seen the worst and they are battered to hell rusting away. Um, I got my confirmation email, it's being uh, displayed in the cabinet in the forge at TF Nation. So I'm really excited to, to get going with that. Right in here we have some hilarious knockoff Teenage Mutant Hero, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, we have Turtles Fighters and as you can see that's Michelangelo in Donatello colours with no visible weapons. I think it's like two grey weapons and that, that's a sign of a KO is there's nothing on the back. Um, which are, I picked these up for like 10 quid and 
they are they're so good they're so awful um but i've got pride and place in my collection maybe one day i'll get them out but i'd, I'd hate to lose the the look of the boxes that's that's one of the reasons why i love to keep some things in boxes because the the box itself is often a piece of um artwork and it's tells the story we have got uh, Makitai's Green Giant, uh, great, great combiner, odd scale, um, but it scales really well with the Perfect Effect Reflector. Um, but once again, that's a, it's a great toy, um, great engineering, great bit of look to each figure. Um, really carries the essence of Devastator for me. We have got uh, the boxed Insecticons, um, the reissue from a few years ago. They as, as you can see, once again, they're, they're still in the box. Uh, they come with little energon cubes. I really think they're going to stay. They're going to stay in their plastic prison. Um, as at some point, I'd love to get the E-Hobby um, diaclone coloured ones and that they would be on show. But I have mentioned before that once I've got one version of a character or a toy, I don't, I don't necessarily feel to, the need to get another version of a character. Else we have we got here we've got generations metroplex beast beast of a figure really big got two foot tall um standing pride in place because there's nowhere else for him to go uh we have got a original piece of um artwork from the movie i believe um walked into half and framed a great little picture of grimlock i feel like it is the part where they're on Quintessa and he says, Me Grimlock execute them, as he points to the Quintesson Judge. Uh, we have got, this is my latest edition. This is, we've got Darth Vader in his uh, TIE Fighter mode. So new, new to me, the, the kind of the crossovers. I've not, I've not owned um, or had anything like that. So it's, it's a really cool, it's a really cool figure to have. Here's my other new um, latest Lego. Um, I don't mean new as in it, it's new to the collection. I've, I've had it since the Lego movie came out, but I mean in the new aesthetic of Lego. Um, but it's, it's it's so inspired by classic space. It, it looks like it could have come out in 1982. Um, and Benny was my favourite character from the Lego movie. And once again, this incredible Lego set it took hours to build. So much fun and play. And I want to get it displayed in a different kind of angle because it's a bit lost at the top. It's a, this is why I want to do like a, a big rejuvenation of the collection and get things in a different angle and have them displayed a bit different. A few other bits and pieces. 2005 Millennium Falcon. And that's a great set. Uh, we've got an, an old Transformers sticker book, which was, I think it's, it's, it's a sticker and colouring book. The Forest Rescue Mission. Um, beautiful artwork it's, uh, just uh, the naivety of, of what's inside it's it's really great it's, it's a great little thing to have we've got vehicle Voltron which I believe is in a nice little Japanese rubbery bit that once again it all, all combines together and you can play separately but, um, it's so robust and a lot of fun to, to kind of play with it's Whenever the kids come over, or my, my nephews, they, they love a bit of Voltron action, and it's it's a toy that I don't mind kind of kids kids touching because I know it's it's gonna take a licking. Uh, we've got a little bit of G1 goodness going on in the shelf, along with some Visionaries. We've got Cravex, he's my favourite character from Visionaries. Kind of like he's a baddie, but he's a good baddie, I guess. He's just he's the hired muscle. Um, Holograms are beautifully intact. You know, it's, holograms don't often stand the test of time. So, and they're great. We've got a couple of G1 bits in here. Let's see, we've got a God Jinrei, which is the, the Japanese release. Um, or, you know, it's, if people want to get Power Master Prime with Apex armor. Uh, but that's the actual Takara version. A little Harry Potter Lego that came with feel like the Daily Mail, just pop them on there. I'm not a Harry Potter fan at all, but it's just a cute little set to hang there. We've got Skids, 
we've got tracks and we have got agent meister um yeah it's it's, it's jazz um but not jazz um where it must have been say 2004 5 maybe where they, they came back into the shops and i saw jazz there agent meister and i was just straight away in bought it, it it's been a long time since g1 had been in normal shops as opposed to an independent toy shop and i thought they were great prices and i just had to pick one up i wish i'd i wish i'd gone more because there's a great lot released in that that run of toys uh, a couple of ladybird books by uh mike collins and he's a tfn um attendee this year so i might take those along and get get them signed uh, we've got admiral akbar uh, and we've got drag strip found in a charity shop one pound fifty probably the cheapest transformers figure i've ever bought um no, he's in great he's in great condition chrome's starting to go a little bit on the the engine block but for a you know a 34 year old toy it's, it's really stood the test of time uh, a little Bayverse skids slash mudflap I'm not entirely sure which who is who but um yeah I'd love to get his counterpart um because I think they make uh, an incredible little set together uh we've got some real Ghostbusters toy with that the little fright mechanism so you, you pull a little trigger and it changes Ray Stance's face to shocked and scared We've got the big die X from Starfleet, uh, incredible collectible. Uh, I remember putting the pre order in at Kapow Toys in something like February a couple of years ago, and it wasn't released until like the following January because it got delayed so much. I was really hoping it would come for Christmas, um, but it was nice having a little thing come. Pope, where you got the post Christmas blues, um, and then it came at the end of January, and I was just like, this is phenomenal and i've mentioned it before it's the pride of my collection starfleet x bomber x bomber is my favorite 80s property um i absolutely love it it's it part you know it's it's three parts and you can have it as three separate entities you know with leg track main body in the brain com um diecast metal with magnets so you can it clips all together beautifully that's i'm wait i just i can't wait to do the full review of that figure uh Got the drive through fish and chips from uh, Micro Machines set. Um, once again, it's just, I love my little towns and car things, or interaction with toys, it's, it's incredible. So we've got, once again from 2005, it's the Jawa Sandcrawler. Uh, I don't want to too, too, dwell too much uh, on Lego, That's, it's always gonna be for a separate, separate video. Uh, we've got transforming cherry coke can, great collectible. We've got mechanisms so you can have it as a can, pull the ring pull, and it auto transforms. Um, in the realms of Cyberverse at the moment, you know, it's just their mechanisms are not so strong. And I look back at some of the mechanisms from the 80s, and it's the engineering is, is incredible. Um, I was watching a video from Bisto Yeti, and he, he gave a little his thoughts on toys for kids and we were kids at the same point too and I don't think they dumbed down any of our toys and I don't think that we should dumb down toys for kids at the moment because they're gonna look back on them in 30 years and think oh this if that's the first thing you're getting into and uh, the play value is not there it's it's not gonna last like my collection is just I, I look back with fond memories of toys from the 80s and I, you know, you want that that memorable, that nostalgia feel, and I, I just don't think Cyberverse is getting there yet. Uh, moving on, uh, we've got some. Oh dear, we've got a little an accident. So we've got some Happy Meal uh, transforming robots. These are American ones. Uh, they're they're great little toys. I remember just heading up to McDonald's for one of the very first times in in the eighties and. You're gonna get the Happy Meal, you know. Transformers the movie's just been in cinema. It's just you're onto season two, and there you are. You, you're getting tiny little toys for free, as well as your your nuggets and fries, and you get that little extra van little bit. And they're they're, they're great fun little toys to have, and they they you know they make the shelf pop. Uh, we've got E Hobby again. We've got the MP09 uh, Black Convoy. Uh, 
incredible figure. I know it's divisive in the fan community. Um, but I absolutely love love the deco. I do believe that this was like the second release, so the knee joints are um, a hell of a lot better. But once again, I've only transformed it once, and it's always going to stay in um, bot mode. Uh, we've got some uh, Rogue One figure, the Black Series. Uh, I like Star Wars in different varieties I, you know the power of the force line uh shadows of the empire and i just like my little little nuggets of things that really stand out so it's a great little uh trooper to have um when I, once again one of my newer editions got these a few weeks ago they are my wheeled warriors figures for a, a long time they were a holy grail and i can't believe they're now in my uh collection and they are in incredible condition considering they are gold plastic which I'm amazed they've stood the test of time. You hear awful scare stories of people spending £1,000 on Black Zarak and he's turning to dust. Um, but these are, these are beautiful, wonderful figures. Uh, move to the side, we've got Atomic Pinball. Again, that's a charity shop find. Um, I was just out with my wife one day, just going around the charity shops, and there it was. Um, and I kind of lost lost it when I saw it there and we were just like we don't need it um, and secretly she went and got it and the next day and hid it from me for a while uh, there it was just all wrapped up and and it's now just in the collection don't know where it's gonna go but it's there I've, uh, I've put batteries in it and played it a few times it's incredible it's just it had one of the best TV commercials um, growing up uh, when that came on the screen, I was I always wanted, I always wanted one. Uh, we've got Max Ray, uh, Centurion. The Centurion line is for me uh, again one of the best ones of the eighties. A, a bit larger, larger figure and modular. You can clip on all different parts. Um, really robust, um, and he's again uh, another pride of the collection. Uh, we've got some Shadows of the Empire. Figures, I absolutely adore Shadows of the Empire. Um, a whole multimedia extravaganza. You've got N64 games, uh, brand new characters in the fold, Prince Zizor and uh, Snoova, which is Chewbacca in his bounty hunter disguise. And then we've got Luke um, as an Imperial Guard uh, with Taser Staff weapon. Uh, and we've got Leia as Boosh. I uh, really enjoy Joy Shadows of the Empire. Uh, Yosagi Yojimbo, uh, the only official Transform uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles figure I have. Uh, and he's a, a great, I, I love the the Transform, uh, I'll keep calling Turtles Transformers, sorry about that. Um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The first couple of waves are uh, incredible figures. They went a bit wacky after a bit. Um, but yeah, I'd love to get a few more. Um, I'd love to get, is it Muckman and Joe Eyeball? He had a little slime um, activity part where it came out of his mouth. Uh, these are the UK McDonald's um, Happy Meal figures. Uh, I only have two of them though. I'd, I'd like to get there as a, I feel like it's a fillet o fish and a milkshake that transforms. Uh, we've got some Paradisa Lego, and we've got Masterpiece Starscream with Coronation uh, set. Incredible, I love the, once again, you can't go wrong with a Seeker Mold. Every uh, Seeker Mold is great. Um, even looking at Mackie Toys and other third party, when they do their Seekers, everyone takes their own little personal take and they're all individual, and I think the Seeker just makes it for a great, great figure. Uh, getting to the final part, so we have Mega Blocks, Optimus Prime, um, and we've got some mask figures here. We've got Matt Tracker and Bruce Sato, uh, along with Rhino. Again, it's 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 the silver um, chromed plastic, and the, I've been lucky with what I've been able to pick up. That they're they're really holding the um, 
silver to the plastic and the stickers are great they're slightly peeling but you know it's only going to take a little bit of TLC when I dust them just to get them back to back to their goodness and then finally we have Twincast or Billy as he's affectionately uh, known uh, along with Glit um, that was a purchase from Auto Assembly um, Right at the, la the last moment, half three, before I was about to go on the Sunday, I was just like, right, let's get a figure. Um, I haven't done on, so what, do I go for a twin cast with um, the animals, or do I go with Glit? Um, and I think just, I had to go with go with Glit, get that little more um, difference to it. So, that's been my, my collection part one. Um, as I said, I'm going to get them all dusted and rearrange them, and then I'll, I'll do a... Do a part two, get the sec the get the second shelf, get the third shelf up with some other bits of pieces, and I'll do it after TFN because I'm going to get a couple of pieces, pieces there, and um, yeah, that'll be it. So stay tuned, uh, and I'll, I'll definitely get some more videos out and show you more of my uh, collection when it comes. As always, thank you. Uh, take care, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.